What's up? You two, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jahi back with another video. And today, we talking about the NBA. Now, listen. I know it's been a very, very, very long time since I've dropped a video. And I apologize. There's been a lot going on. Um, I'm kind of going to get into that. You know, nothing crazy. But yeah, let's get into this video. <music> So yeah, as I said before, it's been a lot going on. Be honest, lost somebody in my family, somebody very close to me. So it's been a lot, and I have a job here at school, so that takes up a lot of my time. I'm an RA, so if y'all know what that is in university, you sit at the desk and you sit there for hours, basically. It's not the funnest thing in the world, but to give me money, so that's cool. But you know what I'm saying? I'm here today and I'm here now, and there's no more excuses. There will be a video at least every week. That is my promise to try to do. I'm just gonna say try for right now, but I, that's the goal. But yeah, I'm, I, I just wanna talk basketball. I don't even got no topic for real. First of all, I wanna say thank you to Motown Noah. Shout out Motown Noah. I've been watching him since about last year. I think that's when he popped on the scene. He don't got too many subscribers, but bro reacted to my video. Go over to the Motown Noah's very first um, reacting to my fans videos, and I'm the first video in the first reaction. Shout out Motown, I don't know what he helped me. I think I got like 16 subscribers. I know that might not sound like a lot to y'all, but look, everything helps me and I appreciate it. And Motown, know what? You a real one, bro. But yeah, so I just wanna talk a little basketball. First of all, I gotta, gotta, gotta talk about the Los Angeles Lakers very first, okay? <clears throat> uh, there's really not too much to say besides it's just, it's a little ugly. It's a little, it's ugly. It's more than a little ugly. It's ugly. Um, Russell Westbrook went 0 for 11 one game. Patrick Beverly, I think, went 1 for 9. Something like that. It was an ugly game. They almost won. They've almost won the past few games. It's just the lack of shooting and confident, consistent offense that is killing the Lakers. As well as Russell Westbrook's in his own head. I'm telling you guys, he is not dropped off athletically from the Wizards to the Lakers. He was good on the Wizards, making open layups and making his regular layups. Now he can't make a layup to save his life. And it's throwing me off. As much as a West Russell Westbrook fan, y'all know I got a whole video calling Westbrook one of the best point guards ever. And he is, he still is. I don't care what nobody says, but there's something going on with Russ and there needs to be a change. Maybe he needs to see some therapy. Honestly, I'm not, not being funny. He might need to talk to somebody because it's not good what's happening right now. It's really something wrong. Something's wrong. He might need to just talk through the way that the media talk about him because, man, y'all are it's ferocious. Y'all are ferocious. It's actually like it should be an abomination the way y'all talk about Russell Westbrook on the Internet. I feel like after a certain amount of posts from Bleacher Report or House of Highlights or anybody ESPN making fun of a grown man for trying to do his job, like, Y'all y'all doing him like JaVale McGee and Shaq in a fool, but this man's an MVP and an all-star. Am I crazy? Like I said, it's whatever. It's whatever, though. Uh, LeBron James, he's looking like LeBron James. Anthony Davis, uh, he fell one time, thought he was going to get injured. He didn't, so that's great. But he's looking like Anthony Davis somewhat, you know, just needs some shooting. Everybody needs to shoot the ball and make the shot. That'd be fantastic. He hit the side of the backboard. Yes, I'm going to bring it up because you bring it up every time Russell does. You hit the side of the backboard. Don't do that. Don't do that no more. I'm going to tell you once and I won't tell you again. It's simple as that. Come on now. I don't want to have to deal out no punishments. I know my hair different. Y'all don't start in locks. You feel me? You're right. But yeah, so... You got the Lakers. Also, I want to talk about John ja Morant. Oh, my God. John ja Morant is about to be the 2023 MVP of the NBA. Y'all can't tell me he's not. The boy dropped 49 in the second game, right? Who is that guy? He's your MVP. That's who he is. It's going to be him or, or Giannis. You know, Giannis as the best player in the NBA, which I don't think is too debatable right now. As the best player in the NBA, yeah, Jokic is cool, but he's not the best. Giannis might win MVP. 
I think this might be the year he wins MVP and a rank. I'm not doing standing predictions this year or a championship, all that, as of now. I'm going to wait till the playoff. But my right now prediction is Giannis or Ja for MVP. Lucas, Luka's a possibility, but he's third on that list. I'm, I'm going Giannis, Ja, Luka. And um, I got the Bucks winning the finals. Some people are saying Clippers. I'm hearing a lot of people saying, oh, Clippers got the best roster. Clippers nice. Clippers are nice. John Wall, great point guard. He's doing what he can do. Kawhi Leonard's back, looking like a monster. You know what I'm saying? Muscular and everything, huge. I don't think they're an NBA championship team, though. Yeah. Got to see what Paul George looked like when that crunch time come around, because it's not always pretty. It's not at all. Also, I wanted to talk about Paolo Bancaro. Oh, my God. He have he dropping LeBron numbers in his first game, the best numbers since LeBron James. First to drop 25, five and five, I think, since LeBron in their NBA debut. Yeah, and he caught a body on a pit. The Pistons like they're not a nice team, but they're a good enough team, especially for a team like the Magic who suck, who just aren't good. I'm sorry, Magic have a nice young roster, so as a lot of these teams do. A lot of these this NBA is so young right now. I don't know if maybe I'm just thinking that, but there's just so many young good players in the NBA right now. It's a lot of vets, but it's also a lot of young good players. I feel like the people like that are like in that middle age, like the ones that aren't old and aren't young, like Giannis and AD, and it's not too many of them. You like, oh wow. Most of them are young or old. That's just my opinion. Though. But uh, yeah, man, it's Paolo gonna be nice. He definitely rookie of the year, definitely. Uh, what's the name looking nice too though? Jabari Smith, Jabari Smith looking nice. Oh my God, Benedict um, Matherin from the uh, Pacers, bro is nice. He gets to the rack at will, athletic, strong, fast. Oh my God, and he talk. Yeah, he gonna talk. You hear me? He gonna get his work. Bro, nice. Bro, nice. Now Pacers is something to watch. Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heal, Miles Turner. That might be a team that you turn on. If you got NBA League Pass, which I do not have, somebody would like to bless me with that. I don't know how that worked. You can send it my way. I'd appreciate it. Oh, my God. James Harden. Put, James Harden. That's what I want to talk about. James Harden has been playing more like the James Harden that I remember. Better than that's James Harden. Scoring and assisting. He's playing more like Rockets James Harden. We don't need it to that level where you can shoot the ball enough to have 35 points. or Because that's a lot of points. You know what I'm saying? And he was going to the free throw line at an unsurmountable amount. I hope I use that vocab right. It's nice vernacular, right? Yeah, go ahead, comment down, down below. W vocab. Um, yeah, James Harden has been playing, I don't want to say out of his mind, but he's been playing like a vintage Harden. Like, it's, wow, I thought you weren't like that. I thought you weren't, but you are. And I, I really didn't think because the way he plays is not like, oh, He's fast, or he's super strong, or he's like got all this athleticism. Nah, he was just straight like movement. He moved well. You don't. I don't think you like lose the ability to like just have good body movement and control and ball control. And that's what he has. So I don't think he should have been playing like that the last two, three years, however long it had been. But he's playing like himself, and I like it. I really do. Hitting his hitting his layups. You know what I'm saying? Taking the step back shots. Who did he make fall? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did y'all see D'Angelo Russell drop that grown man? That man slid across the floor, hit his head on the backboard, went through the crowd, all that. Like it was ice. You know, like it was ice. <sighs> Timberwolves mid, though. Timberwolves mid. Picked up uh, picked up a nice Rudy Gobert, but uh, didn't make a difference. They didn't really need Rudy Gobert, in my opinion. But, I mean, it can't hurt. It should have made him better. Not seeing too much of a difference. But yeah, um, that was that. I had some, some more things. Anthony Simons. I'm not going to lie. I don't know when I would usually do this. I don't really care for the Trailblazers or the Nuggets. But it's a good game. I I, I can't I can't just hold my biases against some of these players like Dame. Which I know Dame is great. He dropped 40 against the Lakers, I think. Yeah, Dame is nice. I didn't watch the highlights. I kind of don't want to keep seeing Lakers lose right now because it gives me a headache and it makes me sad to see Westbrook play like this. You know, it's personal for me. It really is. Also, I saw KD go stupid but get beat by Zion and, and Brandon Ingram, but he had a great block. Yo, Pelicans is somebody to watch. I'm just ranting right now. This is beautiful. Just basketball. Don't we just love basketball? 
I'm trying to make an NFL video for y'all. I've been watching a lot of New York Giants, best team in football. Get at me, you hear me? But uh, yeah, I seen Anthony Simons hit like six threes in the third quarter of the game last night against the Nuggets. They was down like five, came back, beat them by like 10 or 15, something like that. But I'm telling you, Anthony Simons might be nice. I didn't know who you were. For, I knew who you were from the dunk contest and from like, I think I seen you in college. I don't know. But I, I seen you. But now God, you hear me? We locked in now. I see you, bro. I see you. I know you was going crazy last year without Dame. You really got your shot. You know what I'm saying? Now Dame back. And you could really... You gonna, I think you're going to be a step up from what CJ was, for real. I'm being so serious. You you about to be a step up from what CJ was, bro. You got a lot of potential. You athletic. You can score. You can shoot. And you a great guy. Great basketball player. Can't wait to see what y'all do. See y'all flourish. It's going to be nice. But yeah. Oh, yeah, Bronny James. I just want to say Bronny James getting to that money he signed with nike he signed with beats my boy 18 now he had a great birthday he had aiden ross your rage bruce drop him off uh cashing that jaleel and his dad lebron james all of this party doesn't that just sound fantastic i wish i got invited Bronny, hit me up dm me at jahi.tv come on now i'd like to be invited to the next event let's make this connection help each other let me help you help me help you that's all y'all go watch that uh, Motown Noah video <sighs> you know I'm back y'all I'm back videos will be coming soon hopefully I'm about to record an NFL video right now talking about the best team the New York football giants you feel me I hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe some of your ideas down below it's your boy Jahi and I'm out hey hey I know y'all see this man so go ahead, like, press that subscribe button, press that notification bell, and make sure you come back for another video.